if I'd had any sense, I'd have twigged what it was as soon as I clapped eyes on it. Trouble. He was a little dark skinny kid with glasses and the local gang were giving him stick and no messing. Nothing new for our area and mostly I kept well clear. But this time I must have been balmy. I came up like the US cavalry. All right, break it up. Get locked! Yeah, vanish. Clam, go take a jump. You're Jim Walker, ain't you? My brother used to do you in at the other school. You best push off if you don't want trouble. Yeah, shove off. Off it is ours. Come on, kid, get up. You leave him alone, he started it. He hit one of us. Yeah, he was throwing things. Were you throwing things? Yes, you did, you dirty little liar. You hit Harris, didn't you, Harris? Yeah, they still got a date. <laughs> I only asked for my ball back. I saw them playing with it. And I came up and apologised and asked for it back. It was an accident. I didn't mean to hit anyone. Yeah, you did. You threw it. Yeah. No, please, it's the only ball I've got. The only one you had. <laughs> right, give him his ball back. You take a jump. Give him his ball back, quick. Oh, you, leave those bikes alone. Right, shit. Now then, give him his ball back. My brother will murder you. And you, give him his satchel too. He'll sort you out. He'll take you into little pieces. He'll kick your head in. Yeah. Right, if those are your bikes, get moving. I wouldn't like to be you. I'd like we'll get you. Go on. Go on. Go on. Shift, go on, and you lot, shift! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, you better stick with me. They'll be waiting out there. Come on, get him! Run! Come on! Come on, get him! You're a bit of a case, aren't you? What do you want to tell them you did it for? They have my ball. I thought they might hit me, but they ought to have given it back. Look, that crowd would do you up just for fun. Risk a good hiding for a rotten old ball you can buy anywhere for ten pence. I haven't got ten pence. I only get five pence a week. My mother, she can't afford any more. She works hard. <sighs> Come on. Any normal kid, after a pasting like that, would have kept his mouth shut. But not this one. He went on and on about how he came from Czechoslovakia and his folks had left when the Russians invaded. His dad had been a professor and that's how he got into our school. They'd never have taken him otherwise. His English was rubbish. And then his dad had snuffed it and just left him and his mum and she was trying to get by stitching dresses. I thought he'd never dry up. And where should he live? You guessed it. Just round the corner from us. Yeah, all right then. Better clean yourself up a bit. Oh, yes. Excuse me. Here. What? That yeah. is for you. Here, I don't want it. Please, I Take want it you back. to... Take it back. Go on. Sorry. I don't know how you do things here. You see, I haven't any friends. Yeah. I'm all right then. What's your name? Shoulder. Pavel Shoulder. Soldier? Shoulder. OK, then, soldier. I'll see you again. Yes, please. Thank you, Walcott. Put my hand. I must tell you, darlings. I must tell you. But first of all, let's wake you up. Come on, wake you, wake you up. Jimmy. You, Jim. What's still here? Yeah. Is that little boy waiting for you again? 
Yeah. Is that the one from Czechoslovakia? Yeah, somewhere like that. Get your nose out of that book at breakfast. And don't say yeah. If you mean yes, say yes. Yes. Is he a friend of yours? No. Well, you ought to be friendly. Soldier had taken to waiting at the back. A lot I cared. He could have stood there all day for me. Probably would have and all. But the old lady, well, she felt sorry for him. So pretty soon she started on the arts and flowers bit. You know he hasn't got a father, don't you? Same as you. Yeah. Yes. We'll invite him in then. What's he like? Him? What's he like? Well, you know, he's just a little... Twit was the word, but I didn't tell her. Now, of course, he thought I was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Hey, have you heard the one about the Irish mine detector? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Here, fetch this. Nixon, my mate, couldn't stand him at any price. Him and me used to go up to his farm in Cumberland for the holidays. But with the kid around, he hadn't mentioned it this time. His old man, Dr Nixon, was doing our school play. The raging rocks and shivering shots shall break the locks of prison gates. No, no, Kenneth. Put some life into it, boy, and give it some... Oof. Carry on. And Phoebus' car shall shine from far and make and mar the foolish fates. No. Not and Phoebus. Look. And Phoebus' car. But get it out. And Phoebus' car. Fill the back of the hall. And Phoebus' car. He fancied himself as a bit of an actor, Dr. Nixon. <laughs> Ah, he wasn't that bad, really. Got me roped in, rehearsing after school. Soldier'd wait for me anyway. He still hadn't forgotten that belt in. What's up? I can't wait tonight. I got to go to the library for my mother. OK. Right. Now, uh, Jim, we'll try you. And let's hear you this time. Hmm? Practical mechanics, please. Last week's... I missed a number. Did you? So he picked up his practical mechanics in his hot little hand and sat down. Stockport's answer to Einstein. And that's where it all began. Mm. Kill? No, not kill. Murder. That's not right either. Fish Golly Amberly Park. Popravit ye. Town. Amberly Park. School. On any hope it and cripple. Nabis it chislo ya ha outa. Stare it set the va. The void de V. Forty two W. P. C. I know.
I don't know exactly what went on in the library that night. Or what the kid thought he saw going on. Sorry. But he got full marks for imagination. This cripple in the library, he didn't know the other two were fetching him. And these two checkmen, one was very greasy, and the other, well, when you first saw him, you thought he was smiling. When you looked again, you saw he was not smiling at all. They didn't know I was fetching them. And we followed each other around, all silent. And it was very... Yivne. Strange. You see, these two checkmen, they said the cripple had done something bad. Very bad. And he would have to pay for it. They've been watching him for days. They were trying to get him alone so they could have... Justice on him. Oh, and there was something about a final meeting at a school. Amberley Park School. And then they were going to murder. No, really, kill him. The cripple. I think he was checked too. Only some word that means to kill legally. Some word that I don't know in English. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Kill legally? Here, have you gone and dreamed all this? I didn't dream it. Honest, honest. I swear it. I haven't slept all night. And they're having the final meeting in three days at the school, Amberley Park. What school, Amberley Park? There isn't a school, Amberley Park. It's what they said. I'm telling you. I don't know what to do. Tell the police, you twit. What else? You can't. You don't understand, Volkart. I can't do that. Why not? They might have good reasons to get him. You don't understand about Chase. Look, never mind telling me every other word I don't understand. You go tell the police, see if they understand. But what do I tell them? There's not enough to tell. Well, you've just told me. But I don't know who he is, and I don't know who they are. They never believe me. And nor do I, lest you tell them. I bet you've made this whole flaming lot up just to have something to say. Because you never have out to say. Oh no, Volkart. Don't you say that. I've got to find this cripple. And they're having the final meeting in three days. I clocked off listening to him then. Because it suddenly came to me what else was going on in three days. And on the strength of that, I give him a clout. We were breaking up in three days' time. And if I didn't move, sharpish, I wouldn't see Nixon or the holiday in Cumberland for dust off his old man's motor. He'd still kept his trap well shut about that. I could see him hanging about on the corner. He wasn't exactly wreathed in smiles when he saw a soldier, but I thought I'd better try and make him say summer. Hi then. Hi, hi. So I dropped a bit of a hint later on. I bet they're used to a lot of people there, your grandparents. In the holidays. Oh, sure. Plenty of room. Come on, you lot. Move along. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Taking your bike, are you? Look at! Look at! Well, I lift this room. Dad puts a rack up on the car. They've got a lot of luggage. Yeah. Look at, I remember that bird. The bird we tried to think of. What's he going on about? I don't know what he's on about. Oh, look at the bird. The one that means to kill the eagle. Oh, tell him to shut up. Get lost, will you? Now remember, it's the fairy theme, so lightly, lightly. Now, on three. One, two. You spot six snakes with double tongues, twenty eggs just be not seen. Newton, why would you know what?
sir. Can I be excused tonight, sir? No, you can't. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Walcott. Nobody excuse tonight, Walcott. Oh, but you see, sir, I've got to go, sir. I'll oh, search. Well, what's the trouble? My mother, sir, she's ill. Oh. Then you ought to have told me earlier. I couldn't, sir. I've just heard. Well, is it a prescription or something? Is it something another boy could get? No, sir. She's just asking for me, sir. <laughs> well, damn it, blast it, Walcott. What about your solo? Yes, sir. Can I go now, sir? Well, it's very inconvenient. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I dipped out of old Figgis' sing-song to take Soldier to the cop shop. I should have saved myself the trouble. Yes? I want to report a murder. You want to do what? Report a murder. Where? I don't know there. Who's being murdered? Nobody yet. But this is his car number. 42 WP6. Go on then. Well, I was in the library the night before last when I heard two men speaking Czech. Speaking what? Czech. They are from Czechoslovakia, like me. So was the hunchback. It sounded wetter than ever the way he told it. And he looked such a nana. Then the sergeant thought he'd have his little bit of fun. Hmm. So he's a hunchback, is he? The one they're both going to kill? Not really a hunchback. Just a bit hunched. It's his boot, you see. His boot and stick. He's a cripple. Oh, so he's a cripple with a boot and stick and thick glasses and a hand covered so nobody can see it. That's right. And uh, when they came out of the library, they vanished into thin air. Well, I don't know what happened to the other two, but the cripple got in his car. An invalid three-wheeler. That's the number there. And before he did that, he took something out of a book in the library. Well, I don't know what he did. He could have taken something out or, or put something in. I couldn't see it properly. Or he might have just been having a read of it, mightn't he? We've got to be careful about your evidence, because you're important, aren't you? I expect you'd be the only one for miles around that could understand what they were saying. He was the only one in the library who could anyway. And who are you? Me? I'm his friend. Uh, you were a witness too, I suppose. No, I thought you ought to come and see you though. And you see, he's been, he's been looking for that car. And I thought, well, you'd have a, a better way of finding it. Did you? Well, how about thinking those thoughts outside? But I've come with him. And he'll be coming with you in about half a minute. Outside a bench. Go and sit on it. I said yes, but I didn't realise it'd be six o'clock in the rotten morning. We didn't find the cripple's car, but we did find the school in Amberley Park. Will you wait here with me? I can't. I've got to go to school. Tonight, then? There's the play tonight. His face sort of closed up, but I couldn't worry about it. I didn't have any time to worry. I had to get to school, and we did have the play. My love, thou art my love, I think. Think what thou wilt, I am thy lover's grace. Likely Amanda, I'm trusty still. And I like Helen till the fates me kill. Or kiss me through the whole of this wall, this vile wall. <laughs> I kiss the wall's hole, not your lips at all. Well, thou art ninny's too, meet me straightway. 
Tide life, tide death, I come without delay. <laughs> thus have I walled my part discharged soul, and being done thus, wall away doth go. Last night of term, and it was obvious me holiday had gone for a Burton. Nixon played it very cool, and his dad didn't let on either. So I still didn't know what to say to the old lady. And the last thing I wanted was her going all wet and sorry for me. So what with that, and soldiers daft carry on, I was in a right mood. And afterwards, in the dressing room, I thought I'd give Nixon one last chance to ask me just so as I could tell him to, to go take a jump. Yeah, well, I feel. Have a good holiday then. Yeah, and you. <laughs> Going up to the park yeah. today, Cumberland. Yeah, yeah that's it. What are you doing your days today? What are you doing? Oh, Staying home. Yeah. Well, see you next hey. term then. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? Oh, oh, see you, Rob. And the old lady had some up her sleeve anyway. Nice vote of thanks from the parents' committee. Oh, Coco, dear. That nice teacher seemed over the moon with it all. What's his name? Figgis. Plenty for you to do during the holidays, anyway. Yeah. And it'll make it quicker to get that bike you want. What will? Slogging away in a dress shop, would. That's what. <laughs> she got me grafting there in the Easter rush for a quid a day. They were grabbing stuff like it were going out of fashion. It took me all my time to keep me head above hats and hairspray. And in the gaps between getting battered to death. Oh, sorry. I had to make tea. Not much of a kick off to the holiday. And then the kids started on again. I've seen them again. They came to that school. Going there again tonight. That's when the meeting is at eleven. Will you come with me? At eleven? There's a side entrance without a lock. It's a toilet at the back. The catch is broken. We can get in that way. You are. Get in through the toilet window. You're balmy. Look, there won't be any noise. I tried it. There isn't even a squeak. You're off your nut. I'm not breaking in any house, and nor are you. This is for the police. I can't go to the police again. Well, what do you think you can do, you stupid nick? Folks, go there before the men turn up and hear what they plan, and then go to the police. Just stay away from me, do you hear? Just stay away. I'll fix you on the corner of Amberley Park. Up a stem. You don't have to come if you don't want to. But are we there? He had this knack of getting you to do things you didn't want to know about, really. Half past ten he got me at it this time. did it to tell you. Come on. The kid had taken over. He started giving the orders. I told him all the reasons for not going in the house. But he didn't listen. 
I might have been talking to a brick wall. But I knew one thing. Nobody was going to get me in that house. No chance. I knew that for a fact. Nobody's been yet. I've been watching. But I've got to check that there's no one waiting. Here. If it's clear and there's no one waiting, I'll whistle. Oi, soldier. Listen. I'll whistle, Vance. Then you come. I think my bottle must have gone then, because I followed him. <laughs> 